Burlington police say Greensboro resident Lindsay Story, a nurse at AuthoraCare Hospice of Alamance, stole more than 600 vials of hydromorphone, or Dilaudid, as it's more commonly known, between April and August of this year. I would not say that it's mostly a street drug. It's one used mainly in hospitals for pain control. So it is not something that you should be using without a doctor's prescription or without any sort of medical guidance with it. Dilaudid is a pain-killing opioid two to eight times more potent than morphine, according to the United States Drug Enforcement Administration. The worry would be if it were to get out on the street, that would wreak havoc. We have no evidence to suggest that that has happened in this case, but that would be a concern. Police believe Story falsified the medication distribution process on a computer, which allowed her to take more vials than what her patients needed. The hospice center is just beyond this tree line, and we've been trying to get word from AuthoraCare representatives. Finally, we heard back from Paul Russ, vice president of marketing and development. In a statement, he said, quote, Yesterday, AuthoraCare Collective was mentioned in a news story regarding a former employee. As we cannot comment on matters regarding human resources or pending investigations, there will be no comment on the story itself. Typically with these types of cases, if it's not something that's going to be sold out on the street, it's something that um, is could indicate a substance abuse problem. Officials could not at this point definitively say what happened to the vials, although we're told there is no evidence patient's medication was tampered with. According to police, dilaudid pills used to be abused in Burlington years ago, but not present day. Story has not turned herself in, but is cooperating with the police department. In Burlington, Justin Berger, ABC 45 News, standing up for you.